Hello and welcome back once again to Bible Bites. Uh, I'm going to be continuing today in my series on the fruit of the Spirit. So I've already done love, joy, peace, and today I'm going to be looking at patience. So I hope you could be patient just a little while longer while this intro clip rolls, and then let's get to it. All right, so like I said in that intro, today we're going to be looking at the fourth fruit of the Spirit, which is patience. And I want to just highlight one quick chapter really quickly about patience. I, I think this is one of my favorite uh, verses in Scripture about the idea, the concept of patience. And it's found in Psalm 37, verses 7 through 9. And it reads, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it only or it tends only to evil. For the evil doer shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. So from this, I want to just th draw out three quick points. Uh, the first of which is, is what, what, what does it look like to be patient. And so I have two uh, toddlers right now, and this is a concept we're always trying to instill in them is what does it look like to be patient? And this verse gives us some really good clues into uh, as an adult um, in your spiritual walk, what does it look like to be patient? And so that first one right there, it says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. So there's other places in scripture where they see this concept of um, just be still before the Lord. It says elsewhere in scripture, be still and know that I am God. And so we're commanded multiple times in scripture to just take a step back and be still. And, and we looked uh, at a passage a few Bible bites ago that says, don't be anxious about anything, uh, but with everything, with prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known to God. And I think that, that these concepts are, are, are tied together being patient, being still before the Lord, and not being anxious, not letting anxiety control your life. And then the, the next thing we see that I think is really important as well is that it, it's, it's not our job to be fretting over what other people are doing. So part of being patient in our spiritual walk is to keep our eyes focused on Christ and not necessarily other people. And, and I think that this is a really pertinent lesson for us right now when there's so much going on. I'm recording this right in the midst of, of this uh, post-election season. And I'm sure in a month from now, things will be a little bit more clear than they are right now. So if you're watching this Bible Bite down the road, uh, maybe this, this principle isn't quite as specific to where you're living right now as it is to us here today uh, as Americans. But as Christians, we're commanded to, to, you know, when we're commanded to be patient, it's to set our eyes on the Lord, be still before the Lord, and not fret about what other people are doing. Um, and, then, and then the third one is refrain from anger and forsake wrath. So a part of being patient is also controlling our own emotions. So it's, it's setting our eyes on Christ and not on what other people are doing. It's being still before the Lord. And then it says refrain from from anger. So, you know, what, whatever it is that is in that process that God's calling you to be patient in, uh, don't, don't have anger about it. Don't have negative feelings or emotions about that. Give those up to God and be able to just sit at his feet and wait patiently for the answer he has for you, for the door that you're waiting for him to open, for an opportunity you're waiting for. Whatever it is that, that God's calling you to be patient in, uh, don't, don't, don't be angry at God. Don't be angry at other people. Keep your eyes focused on him. And so if you do those three things, if you refrain from anger, if you be still before him and you, and you don't worry about what other people are doing, it says there in verse nine, what the result of that is. And I love with each of these fruit of the spirit to say, well, what's the result if we're really living out this specific fruit? And it says here, those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. And, and so right now, we're not living in a in time biblically where we're late waiting for a specific plot of land to be delivered to us uh, like, like might have been when this psalm was originally written. Uh, so maybe a better way to think of that ending verse is uh, when, when you wait on the Lord, 
you're going to inherit all the promises God has for you. And that could be its own Bible Bite series down the road of the different promises uh, that we find in scripture that, that God has for us. And so I, I can't go super in depth with that, but know that God has promised us so much good, both here in this life and especially in the next. And the way that we're going to receive uh, all those promises, uh, one way that we're going to be able to receive them in the right attitude, at least, is to be experiencing the fruit of the Spirit. And specifically, uh, what we're looking at today is experiencing patience in the way that God wants us to in our spiritual walk. So I hope this encouraged you. Um, if there's something you're trusting God with and he's asking you to be patient with as he is continuing to work his will in order uh, for his kingdom to come here on earth as it is in heaven, uh, I, I ask that, that, that you can take this passage in Psalms to heart and really learn what it means to be patient in your spiritual walk. So this series has been encouraging to me. I hope it's been encouraging to you as well. If it has, uh, go ahead and like the video and share this with some friends as well. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next Bible Bite.